Just as you know, job seekers these days are researching about the company culture before applying to any job. They go on the social media, company website, press releases to see what this company is offering. And in your book, Great Mondays, which I've been reading it for the last few uh, weeks uh, in when I'm commuting to work, you mentioned six key components to build a winning company culture. Can you elaborate more on those uh, key components? Please? Yeah, absolutely. Part of the challenge with culture is that it's often thought of as a fuzzy topic. And so what I wanted to do, I sought to uh, accomplish with this book is actually put some uh, harder, harder lines around it. And so the six components are really the tools that um, leaders can use to tweak their organization to design their culture. And so there's six components. The first three are purpose, values, and behaviors. So like we talked about uh, last time, yesterday, we said uh, to find your purpose is important. That's important for an organization as well. What is it that we're trying to achieve beyond making money? So does an organization have its purpose? That's its why. If you've read Simon Sinek's book, if you've seen any of his talks, that's the why. The how are the values. Values are how we do what we do. So I work with my clients to try to uncover and identify the most important relevant ways in which they want to get to that purpose. And what I, what I like to think about and what I think your, your um, listeners and viewers would be interested in is when you're joining an organization, you're joining the purpose, but you're also joining an organ, you're joining people who are doing work in a certain way. Are those values um, something that you can get behind or align with your own personal values. They don't have to be the same, but they have to be similar or connected in some way. And are they different from other companies' values? Many, many organizations have the same. They're like, we're ethical, we're innovative, we're efficient, or whatever it is. Really, I believe the future of values and the most effective values are differentiated. And so when you think about those two things, the first two, the purpose and values, the line that you sketch between those is the behaviors. Those are the choices that you're going to make. So an organization to establish its culture has to decide where it's headed, how it's going to get there, and then make those choices. Those are the behaviors. So those are the first three. The second three are how a company activates its culture. Recognition, rituals, and cues. And these are things that someone who's coming into an organization as a potential new employee should be looking for. How does an organization recognize its employees and for what? Are they recognizing only outcomes, sales numbers, number of clients, or are they recognizing values-driven behaviors? What you want is you, you're the ideal organization is going to be able to see that it's not the the outcome is, so that's what you want to understand. What are the rituals an organization has? Rituals are how we build and strengthen relationships. So are, you, are there opportunities to connect with people who may not be on your team, who are outside of your office, or who are different levels of the organization, a president, an executive, a, C, a senior level manager? And then finally, cues are the ways that or an organization, managers and teams will help individuals remember why they're there. What is the future? What are they trying to achieve? The physical, behavioral, and digital reminders. Cues are physical, digital, and behavioral reminders of what we're looking for, similar to uh, the mission statement on the wall. That's the most common example of that. But there's so many others and so many ways to get at that. And I think those are some of the things that you should be looking for as you step into, into an organization. Are they thinking about these things? What are the cues? Are they super obsessed with results only? Are they, are they, are they, do they not have enough time built in for relationship building? Mm -hmm. There's really interesting things. And I'm not saying anything's a make or break. It's not prescriptive. But it is something to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing those uh, important components for creating culture. 
And I believe that these days uh, people are taking into consideration what this company is offering to me, how the value is aligned, can I grow here, or it's going to be just a paycheck. And some of them you're mentioning in your book, and I would recommend everyone to read that book. And I'll put the, uh, yeah, that's the book. And I put it in the comment section, the link to get to buy the book. And for the audience, uh, if you like this video, please like and share, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next time for another question with Josh.